Hello everyone and welcome back. So I did a little backtracking and I kept the medal that we gave Primer over here earlier because it seems that if you give him the medal too early or you and then you only have uh, part of the code, you don't have the full thing, that it gets into a glitch where after you talk to him you can't talk to him again so you have to either figure the code out by yourself, random guessing, or redo it because, uh, like I said, it seems like it's a bug where he just doesn't want to talk to you anymore. So let's talk to him right now, now that we got all four parts of the code. I need your help with the council code. Can you crack it or not? Why should I spoil this puzzle for you? Because I don't like math. Something to do? I have and it's 16 digits. As for a reason, this would help avenge your defeat. Certainly for you, my anger is abated. And vengeance, you'll find, is quite overrated. If you stand between us and Metromine Primer, I may need to address your crimes sooner than hers. Your bluster, dear Lobot, is sorely misplaced. I'll stand between no one down here in the waste. In any event, there's no judge up there in the city. So your threats do no more than to make you look pretty. Plasma torch, boss. Pawn. No, we're not going to force him. Ugh. Okay, so Goodbye. he's not going to do it. Farewell, farewell. Until we give him the medal now. Sake. Your mission is calling. The city awaits. Okay, so let's give him his medal back. I think I found your medal, Primer. The medal's recovered, and the mission is done. Well, let's talk to him one more time, and hopefully this works. I'd like you to reconsider helping us with the council code. I've said it before, I'll say it once more. The job is yours to open that door. I found your medal. Isn't that a reason to help? Very well, then. If that's what you want, pass over the pieces to your loyal savant. Do a little square and dance as well, like apparently. That, the challenge is done. I finished your quest and ruined your fun. Assembling this code required no tricks. Here it is. Four four zero two four eight zero three zero six seven five one zero two six. And now we never have to talk to you again. Okay, so we got the code. I am glad I didn't have to try to figure that out by myself. Because numbers ain't my thing. So let's go confront Metro Mine because she ain't cut out for this job. We're gonna give her her pink slip and tell her she's fired. Hopefully they wrote that down because I didn't. Oh, do I want to? There we go. So it is 4402. 4.803. Zero six seventy five. Ten twenty six. Enter. And the doorway is open. And we're in. Thank you, Clarity. You don't need to help us any further. You are correct. In fact, I never needed to help you, Horatio. I chose to. That judgment has not wavered. I hate to butt in. But if Metro Mine knew we were in the court earlier, I'm sure she knows we're here now. Maybe we should hurry. Good idea. Yeah. She probably knows we're here. I don't care. Ooh, that's actually kind of a cool looking window. Some kind of robot built into the wall. The crier. 
Once, any robot of Metropole could petition the Council merely by talking to him. Metromind disabled him. Yeah, she disabled a lot of stuff. and out of reach. Quite a view. If you had seen it before, when the city ran properly, you would not admire it now. Yep, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't. I'm starting to think. Once again, Metro Mind sucks. Totally unnecessary, given the riveted steel cover over the door. Why? There's a perfectly good elevator over there. Okay, let's go in the elevator. Press the button. We coming for you, Metro Mind. Give me back my power core and let's deactivate you since you can't run this city at all. Top floor, all off. The council chambers. Boss, there's our power core. Wait. And we're trapped in here. Horatio Null built. Larity Arbiter built. And Crispin Horatio built. Welcome. I've been expecting you. Metro Mind, for the murder of Arbiter. Murder? Yes, murder. I've seen Charity's memory files. I know you used her to upload a virus to Arbiter. A virus? And to think he named you Clarity. There was no virus. Liar! As I told your sister, I never lied. You just suck at everything else. a voice modulator, nothing more. When she spoke, Arbiter heard my voice. And he knew that Charity had abandoned him. That he had failed. Abandonment. Failure. Those were enough to destroy your builder. Nothing so crude as a virus. As for Charity's unfortunate self-destruction, that was her own choice. And Steeple, and Factor, Memorius, and Memento Mora built? They realized they had become obsolete and incompatible with the city's progress. We advanced machines can see thousands of turns ahead. They knew the game was lost long before the final play. If you can see so far ahead, maybe you should have foreseen this. We're in your stronghold, and Clarity has a big gun. But I did, Crispin. You see, I have guns of my own. Oh, crap. You've got to be kidding me. Didn't we kill this thing, boss? Scraper was designed for digging out of cave -ins. Did you really think a little rubble would stop him? What do you Actually, want I kind of did. Progress. And you are standing in its way, Scraper. Yeah, I've seen your so-called progress. It ain't looking good. Horatio, this is my fight. Trust me. I hope you don't die, Clarity, because you're kind of awesome. That and you're the only female-looking robot in this game, other than your sister, who is dead. Boss, wait. Either Clarity won and she'll be fine, or she lost. And nothing we can do can change that. We can't beat Scraper, not if she couldn't. What do you propose? Calliope Station. Whatever that means. Only boss? Yeah. This isn't just about the power core anymore, is it? Nope. No. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Good. Nothing worth salvaging. So let's go to Calliope Station. Crispin was right. There's nothing we can do in there. Which I'm guessing is where we started. where we were told that her memory resides.
It's a map of train lines and stations. Let's see. Outside, that's where we came in. So we came up the red line here. Oh, we want Calliope. It looks like there's a button here. This must have been what Clarity was trying to tell us. So that means, on the other side... There's only one way to find out. Go through the secret passage. This save the day, hopefully. And Clarity. Poster. What does the poster look like? Stylized M. Stylized... Hey, look, it's a poster of a train. Looks like the train that brought us to Metropole. Uh, actually, that looks a lot better than the train that took us to Metropole. Some kind of enormous mainframe. The way of the future. The robot here. That thing is watching us, isn't it? Yes. And I got nothing to do against it. But move forward so it can't move away another from us. Another door? Christmas, you should know by now there's always another door. Life is just basically a series of doors. We go in and we go out. And we knock on it. Same old story. And then we use a plasma cutter. Tis life. It's not even scorched. I'm going to need something much stronger. Yep, and I don't have anything much stronger. Unless... Combine that? Feudal. What can I use? Crowbar. It didn't even... What can I use now? Door... Crispin, what do you guys say again? There's gotta be some way to get this door. But, uh, 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 something here. Cables. I can't take it. Let's cut these cables. Crispin, stand back. I'm going to cut this cable. Uh, you aren't gonna make me push it over the edge like the last one, are you? No. Then why even bother? Maybe it will shut down the door's lock. Good idea. Or it will blow up and we'll all die horribly. Still locked. Oh well, worth a try. Cut this cable. Or not. That's that one, no. Hey, boss, can you use the cable to melt the door down? No, that won't work. I got anything I can add to it, though. There's no time. I don't want that. I want the oil. Can I cause an explosion? That's never. I doubt that will. It's locked. He's on the exposed wire here. Nope. It's not even... I'm going to need some... No, I didn't want to try that. I'm sorry. Crispin, can you do anything with the cables here? Is that really the best idea you can come up with, boss? At the moment, yeah, that's the best I can do. Is there anything here I missed? The robot. Can you go over there? It might have some kind of defensive mechanism. For now, let's just leave it alone. Okay, so it looks like I didn't miss anything here.
Nothing more to do. Okay, so I don't have to go to anywhere else on the stations. There one guy who was like a bomb over in the street. One five five. Still got that code. Maybe that's something to do with it. Okay, so that is going to work there. Can I use it on the door? There's nothing there to... That's never... Boss? What is it, Crispin? What's going on? We're looking for Metromind. No, I mean, what's going on with the world? Everything is falling apart. Everyone we meet is crazy, corrupt, or just evil. If man was such a perfect robot, why did he build such a terrible world? <sighs> the world man built was perfect, Crispin. A perfect machine made up of a million imperfect parts. Us. As long as we performed our functions, the machine ran smoothly. But some robots wanted to do less than their functions. Some robots wanted to take more than they deserved. And some wanted to rebuild the machine entirely, to command others. Now everything is misaligned and jammed and spinning out of control. Can you fix it, Horatio? I can't even fix the unique. This world won't be saved until man returns and formats it afresh. But, as long as we still have a charge, we have to keep patching things as best we can. It's actually kind of deep. Maybe squash some bugs along the way. Some big ones. That's never going. To... You know, although I wouldn't say that we made a perfect machine just because we kind of tend to destroy it. So what am I going to do? I need to destroy a door, and I can't do that. It's a can of. Doesn't look. That's never going. Street Crane Factory Tower. What do you want me to do? Same old story. There's nothing. There's nothing there to. Res I wish we could just cut our way in there like Scraper sliced open the Unique. Wait a second. He only had one arm when he came out, so does that mean that the other arm is stuck in the rubble? Yes, it is. In the, the rubble. And then I can use the crowbar to get it out. I pried the arm. Okay, we got his arm. We're making progress. So let's go back to the station. I think I know what we need to do. We get the arm, we put it on the exposed power cable, and then we blast the door down with it. It's out of reach. Well, good, I didn't want to touch it anyway. It's trying to make you walk. Let's see if my theory is correct. Crispin, stand back. I'm going to try firing Scraper's gun using the cable as a power source. Yes! And the door is only so much slag. Let's go. Is 
Is this? It's Metro Mind's core. All we need to do is destroy that mainframe. Kick that computer. Uh, boss? I thought you wanted to destroy the mainframe. Yeah, why are you kicking the little tiny computers? You have my attention, Horatio Nullbilt. If you still insist on going by that name. Pay whatever attention you like, you rusting switchboard. I'm not here to talk. I'm here to destroy you. Yeah, take that. Ah, well, I am not surprised. After all, you were built to destroy Metropole. Don't waste your last cycle spitting lies. I suggest you think about your victims. Yeah, I might have made to destroy it. Maybe. Is but that why you you're doing a good Horatio, job of it already. So that you can preach to me about victims. You, the Urbanian super weapon, named for the human's god of death. What are you talking about? Oh, come now, Horace. You've unlocked every other door, decrypted every other code, found every other hidden bit and bite. Do you really expect me to believe that you haven't solved your own puzzle? No. Boss, what's she talking about? Lies. It ends now, Metromind. Your game is over. Indeed. Four megacycles will now be redeemed. You're just taking the last bit of you my really power. Think you could outsmart me. I have God damn you, Metro Mind. Than you have transistors. And now it's time for me to add another processor. Yours. Boss. Cycles. Step out of it, boss. Memory. No. Don't embarrass yourself. You are no one. And how would you possibly stop me? You don't even have arms. I'm not no one. I am Crispin Horatio, built version one. I have free will and a maglev unit. Yeah. And I am a floating bomb. There goes Crispin. Crispin. I hope you can fix him, Horatio. He was a good little robot. There's nothing I can do. Take his matrix. My friend, if I make it back alive, I promise I'll find a way to rebuild you. It's a storage ship with a data port on it. It must have been blasted out of Metro Mind. I'm going to take that. It's a storage ship with a data port on it. It looks like Crispin's personality matrix survived the explosion. We will build him better, faster, stronger than before. Crispin destroyed her. Crispin destroyed her. Yes, he did. Anything else? Uh Well on that sad note I think we will end it here and see you in the next video which might be the last one until then <laughs>